today's program. I'm Tony Noakes, and with me today is Dr. Wendy Walsh. Our topic on today's program will be of interest to any of our viewers who have suffered sexual abuse while a member of the Boy Scouts or know someone who has. Dr. Walsh, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Tony. I'm happy to be here. In terms of sexual abuse within the Boy Scouts, which I understand is one of the nation's oldest organizations for youth, this problem sounds like it's been around for a long period of time. Tony, you're absolutely right. You know, based on cases filed, the problems with sex abuse within the Boy Scouts go back 70 years or more. In fact, one case recently filed against a local Northern California Boy Scout organization is for sexual abuse that occurred over 40 years ago. Now, in terms of why it didn't become a more public issue until now, reports indicate that the Boy Scout organization actually covered up the problem for decades, mm -hmm. making it really difficult for victims to prosecute for their claims. Uh, Dr. Walsh, the level of public awareness now of incidents of sexual abuse and sexual harassment in all types of settings, even beyond the Boy Scouts, seems to be so heightened today. It, has this made the Boy Scouts organization be more forthcoming about addressing these claims? Well, yeah, Tony. In some ways, it certainly has. Recent cases where victims of sexual abuse in all areas of society have really bravely come forward as well as legislative actions by states make it easier for victims who were abused years and years ago to find their voice and finally file claims. And there have been major advances for these kinds of victims. Now another important development is the recent bankruptcy filing by the Boy Scouts of America which has created urgency for some victims to come forward by establishing a limited time frame for victims to file a proof of claim. So Dr. Walsh, victims of sexual abuse while a Boy Scout need to act now to protect their rights? For claims to be considered by the bankruptcy court, they need to be filed by November 16th, 2020. Dr. Walsh, how big is this problem? I mean, how many Scouts have been abused? Recent reports from court filings claim that over 12,000 children have been abused by over 8,000 Boy Scout leaders. After removing the abuser from contact with that particular victim, they put them on a perversion list or ineligible volunteer list. And this is a way of quietly pushing them out of the organization without notifying the victims, their parents, or the authorities. If a victim of sexual abuse while a Boy Scout decides to file a lawsuit, what type of law firm should they hire? Well, it's important to remember that these cases aren't your typical personal injury cases. Victims of sexual abuse need to hire a law firm with a record of success in sexual abuse cases and an approach that includes, you know, a high level of personal sensitivity. It's so required, this compassion and empathy for cases like these. What is the cost for a victim to pursue a sexual abuse claim against the Boy Scouts? Well, these cases are typically handled by law firms on a contingency basis. That means the law firm pays all the costs and only gets paid when a settlement is reached. So it costs nothing at the beginning. Dr. Walsh, you've shared some very important information with our viewers about sex abuse problems related to the Boy Scouts of America. Let's take a moment now to let our viewers know how they can reach our helpline where any immediate concerns they may have can be addressed. Are you a survivor of sexual abuse while in the Boy Scouts? You may be entitled to compensation, no matter how long ago the abuse happened, but your time to file a claim is limited. As a result of thousands of victims filing sexual abuse claims, the Boy Scouts have filed for bankruptcy protection, and the bankruptcy court has set November 16, 2020 as the deadline for abuse survivors to file a claim. As a result of this bankruptcy, a victim's compensation fund is being set up that may be worth over $1.5 billion. Childhood sexual abuse takes numerous forms, including forcible rape, exposing oneself to a child, or showing him or her pornographic images, or viewing or photographing a child in a sexual context. If you're a survivor of sexual abuse while in the Boy Scouts, you may be entitled to compensation no matter how long ago the abuse happened. Call for more information. With one of our compassionate counselors today, your call is completely confidential. Dr. Walsh, thanks for joining us on today's program. Thanks for having me here, Tony. And thank you for watching. This is a paid advertisement for the Sheldon Law Group.